welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you joining me. Today's video is going to be about my bullet journal. Um, it'll be a quick introduction to the bullet journal system, just in case you're not familiar or need more information. And then I'm going to show you my bullet journal um, for the past couple of months and tell you actually, spoiler alert, why I will not be using it going forward. So if this is your first time joining me, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is May. I am a lawyer and entrepreneur, and I love to make YouTube videos um, just for fun and to share and talk about the things that I love. And one of those things just happens to be organization, productivity, and paper products. So I love all of those things. I also have a website and a shop where I sell um, stickers and just really beautiful designs of things that um, I want to use in my own planning and my organization. So I wanted to share those things with you guys as well. So I will have all that linked down below and you can check it out. Okay, so let me show you guys, first of all, what I'm using for my bullet journal. This is a Rifle Paper Company notebook. It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of this peachish um, pink, blush pink. I think that's a good description. It's a blush pink color. Let me show you guys the back. It's just stunning. I really, really love this. It came um, in a pack with a yellow version as well, and it's just beautiful. Um, my plan is to somehow kind of, when I'm done with the notebook, frame this. Um, I know it says notes here, so I have to figure out how I can use this, but I definitely wanna use it for artwork. So um, I hope to be able to upcycle this when I'm done with the notebook. So this is what I'm using for my bullet journal. I know that there are, are a lot of different options. Um, there's a lot of Etsy sellers who create notebooks specifically for bullet journaling. So if you're new to bullet journaling um, and don't want to kind of free form things and um, do them, like kind of have to create them your own, you'll see when I show you in here, I had to create a lot of things myself. Um, so if you don't want to do that, I recommend definitely checking out some of these small business owners who have created um, notebooks specifically for bullet journaling. But that being said, don't think that you need to have anything fancy for a bullet journal. Um, you can certainly just do it with any old notebook from Walmart or Target. I'm using this notebook um, because I have such a large stationary stash and I wanna get through it all and use it all. So that's why I'm using this notebook. Again, you'll see when we go through it, the pages are blank, and that was um, a bit frustrating for me. So I would recommend that if you are new to bullet journaling, or um, even if you're not, I would definitely recommend a um, notebook that has lines or even a grid. So that's definitely my pro tip number one um, when you're bullet journaling is to don't use a notebook like the one I used because this became um, a source of frustration for me as time went on. Um, and because again, I did have to kind of create the calendars and things like that, it was really frustrating to not have lines to do that. Um, so if you are just starting out, I would suggest a notebook with lines. But again, I wanted to use what I had, so um, that's why I decided to use this. Okay, so let's do a quick overview of a bullet journal. So you need to have a key of different symbols that you use. So the concept behind the bullet journal is that you can use it um, to kind of capture everything in one. And for me, that was a blessing and a curse. And again, I'll talk more about that, but um, I eventually found that I needed to not have everything in one place. So anyway, okay, so the reason why this key is important is because you are writing everything down that's in your head, you need a way to kind of categorize and systematize all these things that are in your head that you're writing down in your notebook. So this um, key will help you kind of organize all of those thoughts. Now these symbols are kind of ones that I customize to myself. Um, so they're not ones that are true to the actual bullet journal um, that was created by Ryder Carroll, but these work well for me. The square is a to-do. This little bullet point is a note. I check mark when it's completed. I have found that I've also been drawing through it. This arrow is a migrated or something that requires follow-up. 
This asterisk is for important. All of my online orders and things that I need to buy are hearts. The open um, bullet is for someone that I need to contact or call or email. And then a triangle is for an event. Now, for me, I needed to have a little bit further organization. And so I went ahead and color coded as well. So I just use my Stadler pens. Let me grab those and show you guys. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury makeup case as a pen pouch right now. And so I'm using these Stadler pens and I just use those to color code. All right, so um, I use this mostly in the calendar part, which again, I will show you. So I wanted to keep one page in the front of my bullet journal for inspiration. So my idea behind this was if I was like looking through a magazine or I saw something online that I printed out, I could just kind of washi tape it in here. Um, as you can see, it's totally blank because I haven't done anything with it yet. Many of you know I'm spending some time in LA right now for work and um, I am extremely busy. And so I will link my current kind of planner setup down below, but I am using a digital planner in addition to a paper planner. And so I just kind of, um, kind of put my paper planning on hold. I still really love it. Um, and as you'll see, I do kind of still use my stickers here or there, washi tape, but it just wasn't as much as I was doing before. And so for me, this idea of an inspiration board was great, but again, it just kind of became um, more of another thing that I had to keep up with as opposed to like something fun that I wanted to do. And because I've been so busy and just my time is so limited, I really um, want to spend my time um, that I spend for organization and things like that and even YouTube doing things that I love and that I think are fun. So I never wanted them to become a chore. Okay, anyway, so after this page, and again, this is not something that is um, part of the original classic bullet journal. This is just kind of something that I added. And I do really like the idea, so I hope that I can start to implement it eventually. All right, and then we go into the index. This is really useful because this is actually an index, like a table of contents, because all of your um, thoughts and anything that you write down, they're not in divided sections. They're just literally one page after another. So it can become difficult to find things. And so that's why your index is really key. Um, it was, one of the reasons why I've kind of stopped using my bullet journal and don't think I'll use it moving forward um, because everything is just really jumbled. And for a while um, in a different season of my life, my bullet journal was working really well for me, but, um, and I wanted to try to implement it again. So that's why kind of last month and this month I really tried, but um, I'm finding that I just really am not using it and don't think I will going forward. That doesn't mean that just because right now it's not working for me, um, it might work in the future. So I might use it again and it might be a really great system for you. So I think it's definitely worth trying it out. But anyway, you can see, I just kind of write the, um, the kind of topic of the page and then I write the page number next to it. If I had to do it all over again, I'd probably write the page numbers to the left and then put the topics just so it looks a little cleaner. All right, so one component of the bullet journal that a lot of people complain about is that there's no forward planning. It's really just kind of lists on a day-to-day -day basis. So a lot of people have been incorporating a monthly overview. I do think this is part of the original bullet journal um, that was created. So I think that does include this component, but basically you write the um, days of the month to the left with the day of the week, um, and then you can create a traditional calendar with the square boxes. Um, what I chose to do was kind of put an AM, PM, and then a goals column. This um, was where I was trying to utilize my color coding system. And you guys can see, honestly, I just gave up on this because it became a mess. Like I just felt like it was too jumbled. Um, Again, I think that if I was using a notebook that was lined or had grids, I would be much happier. But because this was a blank page and I had to kind of create the lines and then I didn't want to draw um, horizontal lines because I felt like that would be too cluttered. Um, but then everything just kind of became a mess. It just, it was too much. So I really kind of abandoned ship on this and didn't um, 
really follow up with it. But I think if it's done properly, it is nice for forward planning. This sticker that says get it done, it's a file folder. This is part of my Office Essentials set. Um, so if you guys love this sticker, it will be linked down below. Okay, then we go into my daily pages. And I started out strong. So on Monday, I kind of made my list of things. Um, you can see I'm using my uh, key to the left. So I needed to make a phone call. So that's kind of an open bullet. And uh, I needed to make an online order. So that was a heart. You can see I didn't get it done, so I put these um, arrows to mean that I needed to move it forward. And then again, you can see I just kind of went on um, into the next day. I had a lot of emails that I needed to send, so I just put one of these little stickers up here with an asterisk um, to signify that it was very important. And then um, I have a tomorrow sticker. Again, this tomorrow sticker and this um, one here that says totes busy. These are part of um, my sticker collection as well that I've designed. So if you guys like those, um, very chic and classic um, and luxurious planner stickers. So I'll link those down below. But um, I put this tomorrow note because I needed to remember that I have to um, print these documents and drop them off. So I'm just using a bit of washi here. Again, mostly because I want to um, use up my stationary stash. So I wanted to just kind of add some things. Wednesday was a super busy day. I just kind of made a list. Um, I generally like to break things up a little bit more. So for me, just kind of writing down these lists like this, I think that was part of my um, biggest issue with the bullet journal was that everything was just kind of cluttered. Um, if I was just making a to-do list myself, I would actually create categories. So I would write email, shop, um, do, you know, things like that. Um, my brain just isn't trained to look at this list and go by these little key icons. All right, and then my next spread, I have been wanting to really work on um, eating clean and eating better. So um, I have wanted to keep a list of like meals to try. So I just created a spread for that. Um, this eat sticker is again, part of my collection. And these are just some Asian diary stickers um, that I used. And then we go into another spread for Thursday. Um, I just put one of these must do stickers. Again, this is mine. Um, here's Friday spread. And this is part of my new summer collection of stickers. So um, something here that I wanted to tell you guys about, I was starting to, again, it was becoming so cluttered because I was accomplishing some things and some things I wasn't. So what I was do, what I did complete, I would mark through, and then it was hard for me to see what still needed to be done. So I started to implement um, a highlighter, and so I would highlight the things that needed to be done, um, and then instead of those little arrows, to move them forward. Uh, and this is just covering something up. All right. So like I said, I am spending some time in LA, so I wanted to kind of just keep. Um, a running list of places that I wanted to check out. I went to this um, adorable little pop-up shop and I loved their card, so I just kind of put that in here. And then I am also doing a um, home remodel, so I'm just kind of keeping track of measurements. And so I have this um, tabbed. So again, like this is another example, because this is just a random page in the middle of my bullet journal, um, I felt that I needed to put this tab here um, so that I could find this page easily instead of like going to the index, finding what page it's on, flipping to it, I just put this tab. So that was kind of another reason why I wasn't loving the bullet journal. All right, and then again, these lists are just things that I need to buy, um, furniture and just kind of miscellaneous things. Um, just covering some things up here. So as you can see, the last daily entry that I had was Friday, April 8th. And I didn't really use my bullet journal for the rest of the month of April. I think again, I was just kind of frustrated with um, how cluttered it was. And I was just using it again to kind of manage the um, home remodel and things like that. And then I tried to use it again. So this is actually this weekend. I kind of busted it out yesterday and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find a way to make this bullet journal work. So I kind of started out the day making my list and 
Um, I had an appointment at six o'clock, so I wrote that in and made a list of things that I needed to buy and kind of um, laid out my weekend and um, kind of made note of what I needed to do for the weekend. So that's so that's really it. We're kind of now um, current, and I'm I'm trying to use the bullet journal again. Um, I really. I'm not sure if it's gonna work for me. Um, like I said, at this season of my life, um, I just kind of am at the point where I wanna be able to make these daily to-do lists and then just kind of throw them away. Um, but that's not to say that um, maybe in another season I might um, not love this system a little bit more. I do really enjoy looking at like the pretty layouts and the washi tape and um, you know, I love this kind of stuff. I think this looks so pretty and um, I don't like a lot of color like in my wardrobe or in my home. So I like to incorporate color as much as I can to my um, pretty planning pages. But again, um, kind of as I was writing out my weekend and organizing my thoughts, I was like, oh, well, I need to put some washi tape up there so it looks pretty. And again, I just kind of don't want to feel um, like I need to, to decorate something um, in order for it to be complete. So I hope that makes sense. I mean, I think if you're a longtime veteran of the planning community, I think you feel me on that. And I think you guys kind of know what I'm saying. Um, if you're newer to the community or bullet journaling or pretty planning or any of that kind of um, planner and organization stuff, then it might not be something that you have felt yet. Um, there's certainly a lot of excitement when you kind of first join um, any kind of movement or community or craft or anything like that. Um, it's a hobby for a lot of us. I love designing my stickers and I love using them, but I just don't want it to become something where I feel um, like I have to do it. For me, it's something that's fun. So as far as the system itself goes, as you guys can see, I really modified things. I mean, this is not um, a standard, typical bullet journal um, by any means. So I hope this introduction to it was helpful for you, but I hope that you also realize that um, as with anything um, in the planning community and in life in general, you just kind of have to make it your own. So um, as I've customized my bullet journal a little bit more, um, I'm seeing that I really like it um, more and more. But I think the standard system for me right now isn't working. Um, but that's, again, not to say that it won't at some other point. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If it was, um, please give it a thumbs up and please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content that I create. Again, it is just something that I enjoy to do um, and want to share with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. So grateful for all of your support. Check out my sticker shop down below and I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.